I receive a summary of my emails or my previous emails every day in my email inbox. That allows me to see what happened in my inbox and prioritize which emails I want to read. For example, normally I do subscribe to a lot of, of newsletters, probably you do too, and that helps me to choose which emails I want to see and I want to prioritize opening and reading. We all know that sometimes the subject line isn't that interesting, but inside of the email it could be something very nice for us. And of course, sometimes we don't prioritize the right one. So, and actually sometimes we see that our inbox is full of emails and we feel like this fear of missing out this formal and with these um, summaries of the emails I can choose between which ones I want to read and which ones I don't need to read because I have the summary so it makes my life easier and let's make your life easier as well so I will show you for this uh, tutorial we will need uh, an A10 account so I hope you already have it if you don't just Google how to open an NHN account. We love NHN here. And we will need, of course, to use Google. That's the email that we are going to use. Uh, we are not doing Microsoft or other one, but um, you can probably do with that one as well. But I use Gmail for everything, so Google. And that's pretty much it. So you need, uh, also you need a, an open AI account. And if you're already like familiar with NHN and how to use other LMs. That's totally fine as well. So you can, you, you know already how to use it and you also can adapt the workflow, but the logic will be the same. Okay. So let's go to my computer. I will show exactly this one and we will have the summary in your email as well. So let's go. So what we are going to build is this daily email summary. Okay, so here you can check the emails that I receive. As I said, a lot of newsletters. So it, like even Grammarly that I use as well. But um, yes, AI Breakfast, a lot of newsletters that I have that are signed. And then I can read the summary and I can, of course, have them and see which one it's good or not okay so we are going to build this on na10 here that's that will be the tutorial video and to explain the workflow so every single day at 8 p.m this is a chrome so like once you can like here choose whatever you want but here you can put minute minutes hours if you receive a lot of emails or even like weeks or, or you can like choose one the ones that you want and you can like put an expression here but uh, for me i think once in a day i i chose this because i know i signed for like brazilians and like from all over the world newsletters so so sometimes i receive like emails at 5 a.m and others at 7 p.m so yes i thought that this was the best one so i can read before going to bed or I can read in the morning everything that happened in that day and um yes but normally of course sometimes I enter in my email or I read the ones that it's most important and but yeah you can do whatever you want you can create your own workflow based on this logic as well but this one it's the one that it's working for me and I receive exactly this every single day so yes it's really good and okay so first we set up a time, then we log in in our Gmail account. This is a, a, a bit boring if you didn't do it yet, but I can show you how to. And yes, and here we will see the unread emails only, but you can also uh, choose uh, read emails only. But yes, I, I want the unread emails. And here we take the time, okay? So that's very important. So it's the, the date that it's today so if you see here it's daytime now so exactly and day so you you see here that we'll take the day and yes that's pretty much what we need and for the google what will help you to to connect your google account 
will be the docs in the um, NHN. So that this one will be your best friend. I, I left here as well, but you can follow the this documentation and you can put your predations and stuff here. So I think you should be like totally fine. Documentation here, you're good to go. And if something goes wrong, probably will just follow here or another thing that you can do it is go to chat gpt so let me okay you can go to chat gpt you can search for an nhn assistant or you can also like ask chat gpt for that so let me log in here you can like search for gpts and you can search for nhn Yes, I really like this one. I use this one, but you can train your own as well. If I click here, you can ask questions about how to sign in with Google or like, you know, like that's putting here and you can copy and paste how to do it. You can copy and paste your like arrow or like your doubts and yeah, they will probably help you. So yeah, there you go. And they can also like sometimes send the link and stuff. So yes, you're good to use AI as well for that, but uh, if you follow this, you'll be good to go. Yes, so you have Google set, set up as well, and you create your app, and then you have this node, and then you have the extract email data. So we have this one to exactly extr extract the email data. So we have the text. So we, we put this Scrum, so we have every single day at 8 p.m. Brazilian time for me right now because I'm in Brazil. But um, yes, you can have these. And then it will read the emails that I had. So I put it here as well, like a limit of 25 emails, or you can put only 10 or whatever. And in the prompt after you can like, or in the code, you can choose, you know, like I don't want to read linkaging you know i don't want to get linkaging once you know because maybe they are annoying I'm, I'm not sure and um yes you can like take those off as well but let's say you want to read all of them so almost all of them you put the limit as you want as you wish so you will receive so you are going to have the input here it is like eight and then the output here will be the emails okay and then here you're going to extract the data so we will have the text as a string we will have the subject and we will have the sender so the text inside of the email the subject of the email and who sent to us okay and here it's the code so you can like only like i can put in the description the code but you can just copy and paste but here it's like integrate uh, over each email so it, the code it's already uh, explained and that's the the magic on n because you can like put javascript you can code put code inside of it so i love it and it, it's it is exactly what i put it before so subject sender and text okay and after the code we will have the ai so here as i said in the beginning you also need to connect your open ai account okay so if we click here and then you have your api key and then if it's like green here connection test successfully you're good to go okay i have like tons of here but i will just leave this one so i don't want to show the other ones and here we are going to message a model okay we are going from list. We are going to choose which one. I use ChatGPT for O Mini. And here it's the prompt. Okay. So for summarize daily emails, very like okay. But uh, one thing that it's important it is that it so it is on HTML. Okay. So it's important. I will also put this one in the description so you have it. So I'll put the prompt and also the code for you to build it. And if you want the template, you can check in our community. Uh, we'll be there. Link in the description. The community is uh, a place that you can find tutorials, that you can connect to people and learn how to build nice and cool stuff with automations and with AI and also how to sell it. So it's a really great place to be. And you can see down in the description below the link. And it's like we are we have 56 
members already but um yes price will be increasing so if you want to check and like surf this price uh you are really invited to do it otherwise you can just uh, stay on the video and do it for yourself don't worry and yes so we create the ai agent to summarize with open ai and then we need a, a google one as well that is the same summary email so so the second uh here you put the email then i will change a bit late so we can test the workflow and um yes here the subject is today's summary now so the date as you see here html as i, I told you and this will be the message but i will open every single node so you can check why it's like once it's working and the last one it's an important one if you want yes so i put my gmail account the resource it's message at label so i want to put a label on it and then it, it is the id and i will label the names or id and the id it is the labels that i have or ids that i have on my google uh, gmail okay so i do have this uh, file that uh, this label that i call resumos do dia that it's a uh, summary of the day and every single summary goes there so if i want to check and like read something from i don't know the day before or whatever will be there as well so it's perfect but uh in case like if you need it i i like it but you don't actually need but you can create also like you can you can like also use kind of your imagination and you can just, you know, like set up the emails here to be only about AI or I don't know about marketing, whatever you want or about your boss and every single email that your boss sent to you or your boss is sent to you, then you can have like a summary and you can see which one it's the, the ones that you need to read and stuff like that. So yeah, or you can just already send through these label through these files. So yeah. That's the workflow I will save here. I will save here and let's test. So it took 15 items and it's like the AI it's working. Okay, so it did work. Um, I will ping. So yes, let's break it down. So I, it took like today, the, the date and the time that I am shooting this video. And yes, the, the time zone, it's New York. What I want, it's to change this as well. So you can choose for your country, okay? So it's New York. It will be 5 p.m. in New York, not in Brazil. But uh, you can choose which one you want. That's really, really, really important. So I will save here, Sao Paulo for now. But uh, you can choose the time zone. So in the second one, we enter in the email he he took like the categories and stuff and then yes we have the data here and like a bit cleaner like the emails and stuff yes so here we can see like comment and wing that the first text and the subject see like can i personally answer your business questions and then the sender so daniel yeah so here we have the code so we are like putting everything set up for the AI to read and summarize. And here we have the AI summary in HTML. And um, yes, here we send the summary to the, yeah, so today's summary, the data, that's the subject of the email, and then the message, see the body and everything. And then it, put it in the label. So this number, it is the resumes of the day, so resume of the day. And if I go here in, on my email, I can click and then I can have all the emails. So yeah, don't forget to save. I always download and save as well. And if I want to be ready, I can just click here, got it, and it's active. So yes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Also drop like a comment below so I can shoot more videos like this one. If you want to join our community, the AI Atelier, I will be really, really, really happy.
happy because it's uh, like a safe space that we are building and it's incredible. Otherwise, please uh, like the video and yes, I see you. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and thank you. I hope you have a great journey.